Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Last episode, we made our way through Waterfall, and chased after a mysterious figure, or rather, got chased by a mysterious figure, figure, most likely the infamous Undyne who we've heard so much about. And here's a box, and let's just get out of the way and talk to the elephant in the room. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure. It's just red. You... Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Yep, he painted over it, and now we have a stain over our eye. This right here... Is... Uh, I thought it was a vendor, but... I mean, I'm not wrong. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there still are no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution! Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for an ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream! It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's just 25G. Super! Here you go! Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. So they do cost a little bit more than they did in Snowden, but... Uh, ah, oh crap. Uh, if you have three ice creams, or nice creams, or if you, if you buy three nice creams, I don't know why it's taking me so, I'll just eat this in a moment. If you have, if you buy three nice creams from right here, then you can get three punch cards from the box, and get a fourth one for free. I don't know why it took me so long to be able to say that, but I finally got it out. Two bugs in the box are playing a three card game. Take a card. All games must end one day. <laughs> I've never seen that before, that's funny. Oh, I have to... Oh. I have to get all of them. You have to take them all one by one, seriously? And we trade him in for an ice cream. Sweet. Oh, and the paint around her eye is gone. I just noticed that. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Yeah, I am. You know it. Bird. That is all. Back to the soothing music. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Small. Uh, if I'm correct, the way you f the way you spare them is you flirt them with them. Kind of weird to see them all the way in here, considering that the last time we saw these things was all the way back in the ruins. Ooh. Yeah, only two gold. Over here in these bushes, you can find a pair of ballet shoes. These, again, ballet shoes, weapon attack 7. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Are some more equipment. Hat. 
Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murder. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, that such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Um... I'm still wearing the tutu. <sighs> so... Back to the conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Alright, I just got into a battle with a Washua and an Aaron, and it what well, did not go well. Speaking of not going well, these tentacles... Never mind, it looks... Never mind again, it probably won't go well. Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Onion San, Onion San, you hear? I don't like this. I very much don't like this. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. I don't like that face. Even though the water's get- oh, yeah. I can't do that voice anymore. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. Beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. This <laughs> Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Is Shiren? She is a bit of an interesting character. I'm a sad song. Sharon follows your melody. C-Ray, C-Ray, C-Me, C-Me. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. You may notice that she has an upper body and a lower body, or a, a body and a head, like most creatures do, but her body is actually a separate entity from her head. Her head is Sharon. Little, it's like a little fish. You can even see it's got a little tail. Suddenly, it's a concert. Si fa si fa si fa so me si fa so mi re re. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. So that's where all the toilet paper's going. Oh, uh, it's hum a third time. Yum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Mi so mi so mi si mi la si so. You may notice that the notes are getting a lot faster. You hum some more, but the constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all aggressive tooting. Sharon thinks about her future. Let's hum one last time. You and Sharon have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. The final toot. That is the only time you'll ever encounter Shiren. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. It's actually the first seven. There's a piano here. Play it? 
Sure. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Yes! Z up, right, Z down, down, right. That is the answer to the puzzle. My friend has taught me that melody and burned it into my memory, so... Thanks. The way you're supposed to figure out how to do that, however, I'll, I might as well show it right now, is this is the corridor that they were talking about. You'll find a statue. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. And over here, you'll find an umbrella. Give the umbrella to the statue, and it'll play a little melody. Z up, right, Z down, down, right. Z up, Z down, down, right. And that's the way you're supposed to figure out the melody. Again, the sign says the first eight, but you only need to play the first seven. And you can press X to quit at any time. And in this room, we find a legendary artifact. Let's grab it. But we're taking too many dogs. You put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbs the artifact. And that is the most infamous appearance of Toby Fox in the game. Anyway, I think that's going to call it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to finally carry on with the rest of Waterfall. See you guys then.